Pox hit her pretty hard. I want you to hunt down and capture this wife of Gabra Sweepwood. Hey! What part of Non do you not comprend? But I need her! She's the only other pirate who could possibly have the Sweepwood strain of the Pox! Then get her yourself! My dear Mademoiselle Lufle, I don't get people. I hire people like you to get them for me. And if you won't get them, then maybe I'll find someone to get you. I don't like to be threatened. Oh! Oh, my phalange! What the? Oh! <sighs> that was a very, very bad mistake, mademoiselle. Well, it wouldn't be the first! Jerk. Jerk. We can agree upon that. So, let's check. Judge Grindstump? Oh, please. No need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old W.P. Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club 41. Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. Brilliant. Will you be paying with doubloons, triploons, coupons, or flats aim in fur shafts? Actually, I'm a little light right now. Oh, no problem. I'll start up a tab. You will? That's so unlike, well, every place I've ever been in my life. Well, it's not like you're going to skip town on me, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Set me up with a grogatini, with a twist. I'm so sorry. We don't serve grogatinis anymore. Uh, the pirates kept gagging on the little porcelain swords. One grog. Neat. Coming right up. <laughs> ah, bracing. Hmm. Well, ah, good luck with that. Hot gooey wax. Well, that's a strange place for a sugar sack. I keep it up there to draw away the ants. Ooh. All this courtroom drama has made me thirsty. Yeah, yeah. What are those scary looking drinks? They're a row of Blood Island volcano shots. They look painful. Only the first one. Yikes. Not that I'm complaining, but why did you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you, oh, cut off my hand or knock me unconscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. Hey, WP. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens, no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. <laughs> Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of Flotsam Justice. What with these blasted winds blowing in again? Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? Set me up with a line of Blood Island Volcano Shots. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club 41 insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Impressive. He's going at it. Ooh, that's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later.
Nothing like a little hot wax on a cold, flotsam night. I almost feel guilty about this. Almost. Um, something. King. Hey, yeah. isn't she a beauty? It's a prototype of my swashbuckling Susie long lasting leg lamp. <laughs> that crystal on top will glow for days. Don't you think it's a little tacky? Ah, pirates love this kind of stuff. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me, can you make a glass eye? Eye! But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreaths themselves. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here, try out this defective one for free. Defective? Aye, it's a little nearsighted. So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. I must have that leg lamp. I must? Forget it, Skinny. I'm not letting go of a perfectly good prototype. She hasn't got a mark on her. Well, sure, but hold on. Did you just call me Skinny? I've seen skeletons fatter than you. It's not my fault you associate with the obese undead. I'll see you in your um, pectorals later. Yeah, well, the three of us will be waiting. I better get some of this before it cools. Mmm, warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi there, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moments of freedom, cause you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? Drop the charges and I'll spare your life. Bah! <laughs> life ain't hardly worth living without the sound of Miss Pretty Whiskers' delicate pitter-pat on the bar floor. I'm sure she feels the same way about the delicate pitter-pat of your stumps. What exactly are you doing? Mixing up Miss Pretty Whiskers' food. What's it to you? Can I have some? No. How's Miss Grungy Whiskers doing? Her name isn't Grungy Whiskers, you love a licker. It's Miss Pretty Whiskers. How's Miss Trashy Whiskers doing? Trashy Whiskers? Listen up, smucker smucker. Her name is Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, how's Miss Barfy Whiskers doing? What? Barfy Whiskers? For the last time, you dumps and dumps! is Miss Pretty Whiskers! Oh, how's Miss Barfy Whiskers doing? What? Barfy Whiskers?
See ya. Hey, Hemlock. Mind if I capture your eye color? What now? What now? Hey! Thanks. Hey, look! A five-headed bonobo! What? I didn't see nothing! <coughs> Sorry. Must have been a weather balloon. Got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. There. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. This is not good. It's Jock, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. Aha! Come on, let's get you out of here. Ooh, sizzly. You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. Radioactive material. One thing I've learned the hard way over the years is that you should never pull a monkey out of your pocket until the most dramatically useful moment. And that goes triple for an electromagnetic monkey. I don't want to show my monkey to anyone until the time is right. Brush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood! <coughs> what can I do for you? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, huh, what the heck? What are you doing on Plotsam Island anyway? Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinner K, I found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. It happens. So I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. <coughs> now I've hired on as Judge Grindstump's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. How's the Pox of Lechuck treating you? Oh, it's not so bad. I mean, there is the incessant drive to commit acts of monstrous evil, of course. It's a bit of a drag on the social life. But my pillaging swing has never been better. So, well, I guess you could say it's a bit of a wash. <coughs> hmm. Tell you one thing I didn't expect. The slaw cravings. I mean, honestly, mate, what's that all about? Zoology tricks won't fool me, laddie. <laughs> Let's try to get him. 
Hey there, unbiased citizen. What do you want? <coughs> Don't tell me you're still blowing glass. Surely a dry cleaning business would be more profitable. Ha! <laughs> that just shows what you know, Binky. People are clamoring for Crypt Digit's unbreakable tubes. Clamoring! What people? Well, just one person, really. And he ordered a huge supply. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me that! <laughs> why did someone order all those tubes? I told you not to ask me that! It's hard enough to get it! Why did someone order all those tubes? I told you not to ask me that! It's hard enough to get it! I must have that leg lamp. I must? Forget it, Skinny. I'm not letting. How does it feel to be hideously diseased? How do you think it feels? <laughs> mm, bad, I'd say. Pretty bad. You got that right, Missy. Are you not outraged by this ridiculous trial? Well, I'm just glad that scum sucking Threepwood will finally be brought to justice. Uh, I'm Threepwood. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be in a holding cell or something? We, uh, get a ten minute break every hour. It's the law. See ya. The eye only captures the color of other living eyes. The eye only captures the color of other living eyes. Who go? Oh. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honourable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Freeboard! I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black peach fuzz. Just let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed melody, and he did. And how is your cat today? See for yourself. The poor dear is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, poor little Pretty Whiskers. Pretty Whiskers? Your witness, kid. Your Honor, pirates and assorted buccaneers? Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But 
I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, the one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. Jacques! Jacques the monkey! What? Objection, there's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! See? Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together! Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds in favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Judge, get him with the pox! Don't make me send the bailiff up there! <laughs> All right, then. Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Oh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? It just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. Captain Threepwood. Where were you on the night of August 15th? I was on a date. With your wife. Why, you... You're dead, Threepwood! Order! I will have order in my court! Or oh, so help me, I will shove this gavel down your stinking windpipe! <laughs> That crazy pose. Gotcha. Nice. Right. Where were we? So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what it is. All right. So now we get close. No. I'd like to recall Captain Dor. No. See? No. Your Honor, I'd like to approach the bench. Denied! No one approaches my bench! Just a moment, Your Honor. Hmph! I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Mr. That's Captain Doro. Hey, uh, sure. Sue? Not who I want to talk to. I want to talk to Bosun. I'd like to call Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling, backstabbing pirate? Aye. Bosun Krebs, could you tell the court. What happened on that fateful day? I... I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos, when all of a sudden that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap, and gave me this disfiguring scar. Hachi machi! Aye, that takes me back. Ooh. Bailiff! Supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs! Oi, oi, your honor! Lots of luck, kid. Icky. Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this caustic agent into evidence as an alternative cause of Bosun Catherine's burns. Oh yeah? Prove it. 
Objection, defense is trying to cloud the issue. Sustained! Captain Threepwood, if you have an alternate theory as to the cause of the bosun's horrific injury, do the court the courtesy of fleshing it out before introducing random cups of bubbling goo into evidence! Yeah. I don't think splashing hot wax on that would be productive, fun, or piratey. Icky. Hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Bosun Krebs, you don't really expect this court to believe that the nacho sauce I allegedly spilled onto your leg from this platter actually scarred your leg, do you? Ah, but it did. See for yourself. Hachi machi! Oh, that's just hilarious. Alright. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Hey, guard, what do you want? I'd like to return to court today. No, oh, no, the no. pirate court. <sighs> Your Honor. I don't think I should be. That's greasy. I don't want to pour acid. Hot manatee oil. I don't think. So. Hey, guard! What do you want? See my lawyer. Uh, I'm not getting any smarter. Captain Doro, do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye, pox colored, just like all the cool pirates are wearing. Achi Santa Fica and Santa Fe. Ay, 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 ay. My eye is really scary. Now, according to Crimp Digit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ooh. How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool, eh? Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map? I'd just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Oh, I don't think I should be splashing. WP Ladies night is looking a little uh grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be hotter than the devil's knickers. <laughs> so, you're really the owner